static point, set listeners, remote views, view, the context. Now let's have the party, intent, reviews. New intent, notify, previews. At this point, let's get to our, our static fields. is going to be the package so you can easily have a copy of this for others, this will be notify delete. that aspect of the listeners uh, to notify previous let's close this up let's have the copy of these as well to handle all these aspects programmatically. That's why you are now having an instantiation of them to file for the bus. So we actually need to undo all intents created so that's when you know to undo the previous the delete pause next play with different action methods so this is just how to integrate it to a service pending intents let's have the p let's give it a previous which we post pending intents get broadcast Map out the context. Previous. And the intent. Flag. Current. Now let's give you a view set. On click pending intent different from listeners 
or click listener but doing the same thing based on the context of the pending intent so the same structure will go for The play, delete, is delete, delete, and self of course. Next, play. Now we've created a listener to each of the control buttons, but we'll need to uh, create a broadcast receiver to handle the uh, the functionality of those buttons, uh, the intents passed from those buttons. So we we'll have to create a broadcast receiver, a class called notification broadcast. So in this class, we're going to extend the broadcast receiver. Let's override the all receive. Method. Now, if statements will flow here, if the intent from the generator gets action, equals notification generator, notify play. So we're just going to do a toast here instead of running a method to execute that action. Let's make a text. Context. No. Just pop that out. Notify play. Toast. Length. Show that. 
let's show that so the same flow if this time if it's pause now make the toast So this copy this time is going to be uh, for now we have the broadcast set up the if else if statement so if the action is action notification play just notify notify play does that and uh, if it's uh, the pause do the same you know just this can be re replaced with a method to actually create that actually created the play the pause that handles that you know this can actually be for that let's go to the notification generator and let's see what's happening uh, we are using a symbol zero O instead of zero so just replace this one with zero and uh, in the main activity uh, that's a complaint that we are referencing a non static method uh, let's uh, go back to the generator okay over here we need to make this static this that's fine so that clears every aspect and um, we can test off. Let's test this uh, right there in an emulator. I hope you understand how we've come to this uh, conclusion of getting uh, the notification for the big uh, custom. And uh, let's get to look at that in an emulator and see how it flows. Before we display the emulator, we need a touch on the manifest. Uh, we have to include the broadcast as a receiver. Let's give you broadcast. Let's close that out. And we need intent filter. Let's create the action. Do it name. Come third. Studios. Demo the previous. Same thing goes for the leap. to register that right in the manifest so we can actually look at them from here here we go with the application we have the first which is the opens activity and the second is the launch big content so a click on this just notice the top bar uh, for the small icon can you see that shows that the notification has been created so we can easily see that through the drawer can you see we have the notification that's the uh, the name of the artist Adele the picture and the controllers can you say you need to add methods to this to actually make it work in the real life scenario and uh, you can easily click and go back to the activity 
so prob venture probably you are somewhere else probably you are in the home activity or you are not actually focused on the uh, launcher or the you have the app you can easily pull down your, your navigation drawer uh, let's, let's pull it down you notice that uh, the notification still stands and uh, a click launches back the activity so this is just how to integrate uh, the music control using notification compact builder in your application and you can get that uh, set up thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the, this notification tutorials uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a pleasant time bye bye